David Archer knows these small dirt roads near the Portuguese town of Boticas like the back of his hand. Ever since lithium was discovered in the country's north, Archer, the head of Savannah Mining Company, has been prospecting. Over the last 12 months, more than 140 holes have been drilled. We think that uh, Mina de Brosso is probably uh, one of the most significant uh, lith uh, spodumene lithium uh, deposits in, in Europe. And it certainly sort of could uh, play a, a significant role in terms of being a, a keystone feature of the development of the lithium industry in, in Portugal. Portugal boasts Europe's largest reserve of the silvery white metal, and Savannah estimates more than 15 to 20 million tonnes can be extracted. Lithium is used to make batteries for mobile phones and laptops, so it's a real economic boon for the country. But the environmental impact remains uncertain. Of course, we don't want to hinder the progression of this project, but we are waiting for the result of the environmental study. This is really what will tell us what to expect from this mine in particular. With regard to possible environmental risks, this is our big concern. At the Ministry of Energy, the PR campaign for lithium mining is ready to be rolled out. If you are an investor and you wish to find a mining exploration project, search no more. Portugal has good potential to generate good mining lithium operations with a highly competitive return ratio. We want to impose as criterion for the granting of licenses the feasibility of an economic development project for the region, for the country, based on what resources exist here. That is really the primary objective. As booming electric car sales drive up demand for lithium worldwide, Portugal is gearing up for the rush on new white gold. More than half of all recent prospecting applications have been for lithium, a promising start to the nascent industry.